Hey, I'm here to talk to you about a plugin that I use uh, in Photoshop called Topaz, and I use it to kind of spice up my images a bit. It just helps bring out a lot of the detail and a, it, a lot of work that would take layers and layers and uh, a lot of masking, etc., can easily be done using this simple plugin. So let's go. All right, I like to start by uh, I'm, I make a layer, an empty layer above my background, and then I select the two of those, and I create a smart object out of that. And I'm going to explain that to you later, why I do that. And then from there, I go to Topaz Labs plugin, go to Topaz Adjust, and it automatically comes up with the last filter that was applied. But I know I'm going to do black and white, and this blueprint filter kind of does that for me and it does all these really cool effects that I like. It gives it sort of a bluish tone too, and I sometimes like that. But it's a bit extreme for this image, so let's look at some other stuff. The uh, desaturated detail, I use that sometimes, but it kind of softens the image a little more than I like. There's really nothing in there that needs to have that sort of selective color effect applied. So let's see what else we got. Uh, vibrant collection I use uh, I use bold in out of that collection a lot because um, it just sort of gives everything that little extra pop clarity uh, you know is a clarity filter crisp sharpens it some you have to be real careful sometimes you get a lot of extra grain out of that a lot of extra noise uh, detail same thing you're just kind of sharpening it uh, and, and it, you can go through the filters and see you can get you get a little preview. You can decide what you like and what you don't like. Um, the gritty I sometimes like, but kind of makes it a little too dark. And I don't really want this image to be that dark. I want to bring out the kind of soft glow that those lights create. So I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go back to bold. I'm gonna use and um, yeah, I think I'm gonna use bold. But let's look at that blueprint again. Uh, yeah, it's a little too much, but I can always, uh, down here in Finishing Touches, do a transparency on it and control how much of the filter is applied to the image. Um, and that helps some. I, you know, I like it. Uh, so let's see what it looks like before and after. Yeah. Mm, I really like what it's doing in that puddle. It given those uh, windows some detail, but um, I don't like what it's doing around the edge of that puddle much. That's kind of a weird looking effect. It's kind of posterizing it almost. So let's go back to bold. Yeah, I think that's kind of what I'm looking for. And I'll just apply uh, a black and white adjustment layer when I get back into Photoshop. So uh, we can also compare, we can kind of do a little before and after look here. And you can see what a difference that makes, how it really brought out the shadows, um, brighten those corners up. So we're gonna hit okay. And this is a smaller image, so it doesn't take as long, but if you have a huge image, takes, image takes forever. Okay, so I know I want black and white, so I'm going to do a black and white adjustment filter. And over here I can, you know, adjust the different uh, color levels, like I want my reds to be a little lighter, that what would be the blue down here in the puddles a little lighter, darker, you know, you can mess with that a little bit and see what you like. All right, I like that, so I'm going to go ahead and put my little signature on there. Make it a little smaller. All right. And then I kind of take it back a little bit. I don't want it to be real obvious, so, but I want it on there. It's, it's kind of my watermark. Uh, and then I'm going to flatten the image. And because I know that my printer, I go to grayscale, and then I know that they use a specific uh, profile, so I go ahead and do that profile and then just save her out as a JPEG.